Hey Enlightenment Garden here. It's July 1st and today I want to give you a few tips on how to protect your your fruit trees and your fruit. Uh, one of the worst things is you put all this hard work and effort into growing these fruit trees and then a bird snatches your perfectly ripe fig or if you're like me you wait for your first panache tiger fig and it's full of ants. So I'm going to show you what I do to prevent both of those things from happening. And I also want to talk about um, trunk protection. As, uh, if you live in a climate like Phoenix, it gets hot here. Uh, a lot of my trees are in full sun. And there are some specific fig varieties that don't do so well in full-on Arizona sun. All right, so we're standing in front of my Panache Tiger fig tree. And you can see that this one has definitely gained some size, swollen up, and it's about ripe. And this is just about the time when the birds will go after them. Now with the yellow and green figs, they're less likely to see them. They go more after the dark figs, I find. But they'll start pecking at these if, if you don't protect them. So what I use is this. This is an organza bag. You can get them in all different sizes. I like the um, 4 by 8 size, 4 inch by 8 inches. You can get a 3 inch by 5 inch. Um, just because some of the figs can get pretty large, I like the larger bag. And pretty simple, you just slip it over and you tie it off. And the birds will not get to it. I've never had a bird get to my fruit when I use these. So small investment, um, you can buy in a hundred pack for about 10 bucks. So definitely recommend organza bags to prevent the birds from getting your figs. All right, so the other issue is ants. You're looking at a fig that I saw like 50 ants crawl out of this morning when I was watering. This thing is ripe, you know, it's splitting on us here. And look at that, it's just freaking full of ants. I hate those bastards. They ruin a, a perfectly good fake. See that? That's nasty. I'm not gonna eat that. And that was my first panache tiger. There's nothing more maddening than waiting for that perfect moment to get your fig and it's full of ants. So what do we do about those? I'll show you in just a minute here. First off on ant protection, don't bother if you've got a closed eye variety like this. This is a Violet de Bordeaux. You can see it's a completely closed eye. Those ants are not gonna get in there. You know All right, so your open eye varieties like this brown turkey in front is where you wanna employ some kind of defense for okay, ants. So what do I use for ant protection? I, d I don't like chemicals, but um, I've only found this to be effective. This is a product called Tanglefoot. Um, it's an insect barrier. And what you do, let me open this up so you can see. Sticky stuff. Smells kind of nasty too. Um, and it's very caustic so you don't put this directly on the trunk. We're going to um, basically wrap flagging tape, this is flagging tape, we're going to wrap that around the trunk and that's going to act as a barrier so that this stuff doesn't directly go against the bark because that will girdle and kill the tree if you do that. The other thing is I have a lot of mulch and what happens is when the wind takes off you got a bunch of leaves and bark and mulch attached to your tanglefoot which uh, makes it very ineffective because your whole surface area is now covered with junk and the ants can't stick. Um, plus it's messy. So what I've been doing lately is um, I get one of these uh, little plant coaster things and then I just cut basically from one side and then cut out a ring and then this is going to go around the trunk and so it'll it'll basically hit you know your mulch will hit up against this rather than um, stick to that 
area of Tanglefoot. So you can see on this tree, um, I've got a little bit of an issue because I have some branches really very close to the bottom. This is too close to put your Tanglefoot. Um, you can get all sorts of junk that you don't want on that sticky layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right around here. And this at least is going to protect most of my fruit. All right, so you're, you're going to want some flagging tape. I'm going to just start here. And just go ahead and overlap three quarters of it. We want a good layer on this. We're not going to put tangle foot completely over all of this, just enough so that they can't progress up the tree. You can just kind of fold it over to tie it off. Yeah, I recommend getting like one of these little hobby disposable type brushes to apply this. This is definitely a single time use only application. And you're just going to brush this stuff on. Just a thin amount is all you need. And I go middle. You don't need to put it all the way up your stuff. Your um flagging tape. Just enough of a band that it's going to get them. Just make sure you go all the way around with this. And the scoop does eventually dry out or, you know, you'll get a bunch of ants on here. And you'll just have to go back and redo it. Take the old tape off. Put some new on. And I really have to just do this during the summer. In the fall, I don't have as much of an ant problem. So for the last step, and this is only if you have mulch or you're worried about other things flying up into it, um, just use these little plastic plant coasters. And then you're gonna just gonna fit that on there. And it's fine that it's tight, and we're gonna just use some electric tape to secure that seam. Yeah, that's pretty secure. So that is how I guard against ants. If anyone has better ideas out there that are a more organic approach, that would be awesome. I've tried diatomaceous earth, I've tried the baking soda. The problem is those materials become ineffective when they get wet. I gotta water my plants. So unless, you know, someone is willing to go and reapply them daily, those, those really are not effective, I have found. The final thing to mention today is trunk wrap. Now figs are pretty tough and I rarely trunk wrap them, but this plant in front is a black Madeira. This is a plant I purchased in the fall from Just Fruit and Exotics. It did not have a, a good root system on it. 
Um, I had to prune it back just because it was too top heavy to support all that. Um, and you can see it really hasn't grown much. And you can also see that I've got some white stuff wrapped around the trunk. What that is, is it's trunk wrap. Um, you can get this at any home improvement store. You can get it online on Amazon. This is a breathable type wrap that you can put around your, your trees. And I do it in the wintertime actually for plumeria because uh, the, the trunk can burn from our cold winds then. And I of course do it in the summer here because my, my yard is in full sun. I don't have a full canopy grown in yet. And um, you can see some intense light hitting the trunks at different times of the day, and that can scorch them, and that can then introduce splitting and sap bleeding out. Um, so this is the one exception here where I actually did have to wrap this fig because I saw some burn on the trunk. Uh, Black Madeira is known as being a, a slow grower, and it actually really hasn't grown for me much at all yet. I imagine it, it likes cooler temperatures when it's young. Um, cooler temperatures in, in the Phoenix sense, of course. Um, so once we get back down into the, the 90s and 80s in the fall, I imagine it's going to do better. But right now, I need to protect it. Because I don't want it to burn back. And... Um, have any dying wood on it. So I actually do this with a lot of my young fruit trees that are out in full sun, just the first year when they're kind of tender and need a little bit more protection, um, especially since they don't have their own canopy to protect them. You can see a lot of my fig trees, you know, have grown a lot. They've pushed a lot of growth and I don't need that. But for a small tree that, you know, this, this guy has two leaves on him, um, it's not protecting itself yet, so I have to take that measure. Hope these uh, tips help you out this summer. If you have any questions on anything I showed today, uh, please post a comment below. If you like these videos, hit the thumbs up for me, and subscribe if you want to get more notifications on future videos. Thanks for watching.